Drive Vault has just updated, so let's check it out. Heading into the game, the biggest change you can see is that they removed all the snow and now the trees are blossoming. And heading to the shop and looking at the new cars, we have two new cars. The first one being the Polito Sport. And the other one being the normal solar. And looking at the new weekly quest, they have said that they're not going to be rerunning any weeklies. So the weeklies that we had before are never coming back again. And this week we have the future Viliteon, which is the future alternative. And all these other quests are quests we've had before. And with that, I'll show you the five part locations. Starting off with the first part, head over to this race right here, Skyline Speedway. And right in this little open area, you'll see the first part. For the second part, head over to this food delivery spot right here. And right in this corner, you'll see the second part. For the next part, head over to the cafe right up here. And right over here, you'll see the third part. For the second to last part, head over to this race right here, Turbine Turmoil. And right here is the second to last part. And for the last part, head over to this place right here, North Forest. And right in between the bushes, you'll see the fifth part. And now with that, let's grind the rest of these challenges so we can check out the future Viridion.
And there we go, we have finally completed the weekly quest, so let's collect them so we can check out this wide body future. And here are the customizations on it. Before I move on to the small changes in this update, I want to show you the easiest way to hit 200 boost ramp. And thank you to Triple Shot Dart Monkey for showing me this method. What you'll want to do is head over to this area of the map and go to the loop de loop. And you'll want to go around the loop de loop, and every single time you do this, you'll get around four boost pads. Meaning you'll complete this way faster than going around the map and doing boost pads or finding another way, which all the other ways I believe are slower than this. Now onto some of the smaller changes. If you head over to any race, you can see that there's a leaderboard right next to it. And placing in the top 10 people, you'll be rewarded with cash. So if you like racing, you can work for the top 10 of races and you could get a pretty big sum of cash at the end of every week. And they updated the skybox so it looks more realistic. So if you didn't like this before, they've updated it and you'll probably like it more now. And there's also a new race called West Coast Rush, which I'll show you right now. And lastly, with this update, they brought out new badges, so you can earn these now. And if you've already reached these milestones, you'll already be given these. You don't have to redo them all now. And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you in the next video.